This is the instructional video for a one-point calibration of a Beckman pH meter. Before you begin, make sure you have the following items. A pH meter and stand with a temperature and pH probe. A bottle of deionized water. A waste beaker. A pH buffer solution. And some Kim wipes. Turn on the pH meter by pressing the on button at the bottom of the instrument. If the temperature probe is not connected to the instrument, plug it into the appropriate port at the back. As this is done, the screen should go from reading no ATC to reading ATC, and an accurate temperature for your solution should be displayed. Remove the bottle of electrode storage solution from the end of the pH probe and rinse both probes with the de deionized water. Then blot them dry with a Kim wipe. Also make sure that you remove the black tape covering the vent hole of the pH probe. To begin the calibration, press CAL, then CLEAR, and CLEAR again on the instrument to remove the values of any past calibrations. Calibration should also be shown in the top right hand corner of the instrument screen. Place both probes into the pH buffer solution and gently swirl the container to remove any bubbles from around the ends of the electrodes. Let the probes sit in the solution for approximately one minute before pressing the read button. After a minute, press the read button and after a few seconds, the pH meter should show the correct value for the standard. The reading is complete when the eye symbol on the right hand side of the screen has stopped flashing and the correct pH is displayed. If no eye symbol is shown, press auto before pressing read for your solution. Press cal again to exit calibration mode. Calibrated should appear in a box on the left hand side of the screen. From now on to read the pH of a new sample, all you need to do is press the read button. Recalibration shouldn't be necessary. When you have finished analyzing all of your samples, rinse the probes with deionized water and blot them dry. Also replace the bottle of electrode storage solution at the end of the pH probe. Finally, replace the black tape around the vent hole of the pH probe.
turn the instrument off and return it.